Good evening, and thank you for streaming with us here at Rooted Bible Fellowship Church, where our pastor is Pastor Kevin L. Webster and our First Lady, Sister Sharon Webster. We would like to welcome you to our annual Hallelujah Night. Although 2020 has been a different year in how we worship with one another, on behalf of Pastor Webster and First Lady, we would like to thank the whole Rooted family for sticking it out with us. As we roll into 2021, we pray that you continue to stream with us on Sunday mornings, as well as Wednesday night for Bible study. Tonight for Hallelujah Night, we have our very own Age Remain rendering up selections, as well as a timely word from my father, our pastor, Pastor Kevin L. Webster.
For nay in these things, you're more than a conqueror. If God be before us, nobody can be against us. Because I know it'll be alright. I know it'll be alright. Yeah, if you believe it's going to be alright, make some noise for the God that we serve. The God we serve is bigger than cancer. He's bigger than COVID-19. He's bigger than anything. Put your trust in God and believe that everything is going to be all right. Yeah. The word for 2021 is a battle word. It's a fighting word. It's a triumph word. And it's a word that I want to give to the church on this New Year's Eve that we need to catapult us into 2021. Um, and it is the word uh, not shaken, still trusting. That's our word for 2021. Not shaken, huh, but I'm still trusting. In a few hours, uh, we, we have remaining in this year. Amen. This has been a year most challenging. It's probably been the most challenging year uh, that this generation, the entire world has ever experienced. Amen. Since the last world wide pandemic, which was in 1918 uh, with the Spanish flu, uh, which infected about 500 million people, uh, about a third of the world's population back then. Uh, to date, uh, this pandemic has infected over 81 million uh, folks thus far. Uh, but I'm not shaking, still trusting. And because of this pandemic that we had in 2020, Church, our lifestyles have changed. They have changed drastically. Amen. Uh, from working at home uh, to shopping online to virtual visits with loved ones uh, to wearing a mask everywhere you go. Uh, I never thought that we'd be wearing masks everywhere we go. Amen. It's been a challenge. It's been a challenging year. Amen. It's been a challenging year to say the least. And, and for some, uh, some of our families have even experienced um, death of loved ones, family members, um, as a result of this pandemic. And so uh, we still say the same thing as we go into 2021, um, not shaken, but um, still trusting. But for the child of God, for the one who have given their life to Jesus Christ, the person uh, who has been born from above, the person who has been washed uh, the, the person who has been sanctified through the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about this evening, the redeemed church, the church that has been brought with a price. Uh, I pray that the challenges of 2020 has not depleted our faith. I pray that the challenges of 2020 has not deflated our faith. And I pray also that the challenges of 2020 has not disassembled our faith. Amen. Because our faith is in Jesus. Amen. But instead, I pray that because of 2020, what's taking place in 2020 for God's glory and for his purpose, I pray that our, our faith has been strengthened. That's what I pray. I pray that our faith have been strengthened. I pray that our faith is more genuine now uh, as we are getting ready to go into 2021 than ever before. I pray that our faith is so precious now that our faith is precious, amen, and that our faith is, is, is everlasting as we trust in the Lord. And I just want to say again, uh, I'm not shaking, I'm still trusting. And I would like to just take a few minutes, a few minutes as we close out uh, 2020, and I would like to look this New Year's Eve uh, uh, and give you a message, uh, not to hype you, not to hype you up and it was some rah rah uh, as we get in ready to go into 2021 but but i want to build you i want to strengthen rooted bible fellowship church i want us to get ready for the journey that lies ahead i want us watch this i want us to focus on who god is and the great things that god is doing amen and as we go into this i want us to focus and and and, and look at what is it that god requires of us as we go into this new year, what is it that God requires of his children? What is it that God expects out of us as we're getting ready to step into 2021 by the grace of God? Amen. Watch this. Understand this. 2021, we're still going to encounter uh, uh, 
some of the same challenges. In 2021, we're going to still be dealing with pandemic stuff. In 2021, we're still going to be confronting spiritual warfare stuff. In 2021, we're still going to be touching some trials and some temptation stuff. But also in 2021, we're going to still be dealing with some lifestyle change stuff. But through it all, no matter what we may experience coming into 2021, what is it the Lord wants from us? The Lord wants us not to be shaken, but he wants us still trusting. And so let's take a few minutes on this New Year's Eve. Let's take a few minutes and and look at how is this made possible for us, the child of God? How is it made possible that we're not shaken, but we're still trusting? We're not moved by what we see in this world, but we're still holding on to God's unchanging hand. And so in 2020, as it begins uh, for us rooted, uh, we want to understand that it begins right here. It begins right here in the fifth in the fifth book of the Psalms, there's a, there's a fifth book in the Psalms. And in the fifth book in the Psalms is where we're going to l- learn a profound truth that's going to help us, stabilize us, secure us for 2021. Because some of the same challenges we faced in 2020, we're going to face it again. Some of the same stuff that we were looking at in 2020, we're going to look at it again. But we must be unshakable, but still trusting. And, and we see this in Psalms 125. 125, Psalms 125 is a great Psalms as we prepare for 2021. The worshipers, let me bring you up to speed of what's happening in Psalms 125. The worshipers of God are singing a song. This is a song, amen? Psalms 125 is a collection of songs, amen? And this is a song that the worshipers are singing. It's a song of accent uh, or a song of triumph. Or for some theologians, a song of degree. And and as they sing this song, they're now entering into Jerusalem. Walk with me this evening. They're entering into Jerusalem, and their voices, listen to this, their voices are united as they sing. They're singing this song of triumph, this song of, of accent, as they're traveling into Jerusalem, and they're traveling into the city of David. And as they're traveling into the city of David, watch this, they actually see some things. They see the mountains that's surrounding Jerusalem. They see the hills that are surrounding Jerusalem. And with this, I want you to get this. This is a metaphor that pictures, watch this, God surrounding his people. God surrounding his people with love and affection. God surrounding his people with protection. But it also is a picture of something else. It's a picture of his people trusting his promises. His people trusting his promises. And so as we look at this, I want to share with you just two verses of the song. There's only two verses of the song that I want you to walk away with as we're getting ready to go into 2021. There's two verses of the song that tells us two things. There's two things that's revealed in Psalms 125 that we're going to pull out of two verses out of the song. Amen? And if you look at it, look what it says. It says in Psalms 125 verse 1, those who trust in the Lord, walk with me this New Year's Eve, are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. I want you to see something here. Amen? The first thing I want you to see is that he, he reveals in the text as the pilgrims were going into the city of David around Jerusalem, he reveals in the text that we are, what we are like, watch this, rooted when we trust God. He reveals in the text what we are like, what we are like as we trust God. He reveals in the text what we should look like as we go into 2021. He reveals in the text how we should operate as we go into um, 2021. He is letting us know that we need to trust God. We got to trust God. We got to trust God. Amen. Now watch this. That those that trust in the Lord, he says, are like Mount Zion. Those who put their trust in God are like Mount Zion. And watch this. And cannot be shaken. That's our word. That's our word, church. Amen. We can't be shaken. Those who trust in the Lord, watch this, can't be moved. Things, this world can't move you. The things that we're going to encounter can't move you. Those who trust in the Lord, watch this, are stable. 
Those who trust in the Lord, watch this, they are rock solid. God is calling for his church, amen? He's calling for the place that he dwell. It says that those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. Mount Zion is the place where God dwells. And I don't know about you, but God dwells in me, amen? And it's a place where God dwells. And if it's a place where God dwells, there's safety huh, and security, amen? And so as we look at this, watch this. You may be saying, what does trust in the Lord mean? But let me just explain to you real quick. To trust in the Lord is not simply believing some facts. It's not simply believing that he exists. That's not what he means in his text. He's not saying that you got to believe that he exists or, or that he's in charge of all life. No, nor is he saying that it, it comes because you believe that he created the whole world. No, watch this. James, James tells us in James 2.19, he tells us even the demons believe that. The demons believe that God exists. The demons know that God created the world. The demons know all about that. The demons have intellect and mental assent. They know firsthand account who God is. But what he's talking about in trusting God, watch this. He's talking about you got to trust God beyond how the demons trust. Because guess what? The demons don't have salvation. But he says you got to trust God in the response in your faith. You trust God in the response in your faith to his promises. What he is actually saying here, he's given us in his word. He says you got to start believing God's word and not only believing it, you got to start putting it into demonstration. You and I have to start believing God's word and now we got to put faith into action. That's why the demons, it says that the demons believe and they shudder, but they don't believe until salvation. But he is saying that faith without works is dead, and we have to be a people going into 2021 believing and walking in the promises of God. We got to believe. We got to exercise it. We got to hold on fast to his word and, and not only hold on to it, we got to show forth an action of demonstration that in our belief in him, we're now demonstrating that our faith is totally in him. It's a trust. Watch this. It's a trust. And so as we see this, watch this. I, I like this. I like this. I had it written down here. Uh, look at Psalm 16, 8. In Psalm 16, 8, he says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. I'm telling you right now, Rooted, that's where your eyes got to be. As you trust the Lord, you got to keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. With him, where? At my right hand. I will not be shaken. Look what he says. The Lord, where's he at? Did you hear what he says? The Lord is at my right hand. And if the Lord is at my right hand, watch this. Nothing can move me. Nothing can shake me. Nothing can displace me because the Lord is right with me. He's at my right hand. Amen. And so as we understand this, Christ, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter, amen. It says, for in scriptures, see, I had laid a, a stone in Zion. Watch this. Your trust, watch this, it's not in the world, but your trust is placed on the foundation, which is Jesus Christ. Watch this. For in Scripture it says, see, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone. And on the one who trusts in him, the one who, what, puts everything on him, he is the foundation. He is the one that we trust. You will never be put to shame. Did you receive that this day? You will never be put to shame. What are you saying here? Christ is the chief cornerstone. Amen. And when you trust him, you'll never be put to shame. Did you receive that? Watch this. Uh, it's found in no other foundation. He is the foundation. Jesus Christ rooted. He is our rock. And some folks, watch this, are, as Jesus says, are like shifting sand because they don't have a foundation. Some folks, watch this, are like the sea unsettled up and down, tossed to and fro, amen? Why? Because they're not trusting in the foundation, and they're unsettled, amen? And, and I like what James says. James says that doubt are like the waves of the sea. The waves of the sea, we know, are tossed to and fro. And we got folks because they're not totally trusting in the Lord, in him being your foundation, the world and everything in the world is tossing them to and fro. But when you trust in the Lord, amen, he says you will be like Mount Zion. 
See, we need some folks, watch this, that's not just hanging around the premises, amen, uh, hanging around the things of God, but we need some folks that's going to claim the promises of God, that's going to trust what God say in his word. We've been praying, for an example, we've been praying for the last 10 months. We've been praying since this pandemic hit that for God to move. We've been praying on Tuesdays and Fridays and just praying, God, have mercy. We've been praying, watch this, uh, as a universal church for God to send forth a vaccine. That's what we've been praying for, amen? We've been praying for God to bring a solution in this world. And watch this, this is, this is doubt, and this is when you're not trusting. Watch this, and then when the vaccine comes, we start now, we start doubting. We become double-minded. And the Bible says, James says, a double-minded man can receive nothing of the Lord. Why? Because guess what? We're, we're, we're looking at the vaccine instead of trusting in the foundation. We need to be trusting in the rock, not so much the vaccine, but we need to trust in the rock. And if we prayed all the time, we got to believe it by faith that God is a prayer answering God. Are you walk with me today. We're talking about now, watch this, we're talking about not shaking, <laughs> but I'm still trusting. Not shaking, but I'm still trusting, and I'm trusting in the rock. Who's Jesus? Y'all walk with me. And so as we see this, watch this. Uh, we, we look at this and we understand this and, and remember that as we go forward, we need to trust the Lord. Uh, I'm not shaking. I'm still trusting. As we go into 2021, amen, as we go into 2021, let me hit this. And it says this. Look what it says in that text. Which cannot be moved. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. You can't be moved. You can't be, you can't be tossed aside. Watch this. You're going to stand firm. You're going to believe God. You're going to trust him. And watch this. And you abide forever. You abide forever. Look at, look at what John says. John tells us that. He says that you abide forever. Amen. That we abide forever. Watch this. Here we go. But the second part is that he reveals for you and I what the believer is supposed to do. We got to trust God and we'll be like Mount Zion and we won't be shaken. You got to believe that. As we trust in him, he's the foundation. Amen. It's not the government. It's not, in, in, it's not the medicine, but it's in God. Amen. And as we trust in him, he will keep us. Amen. But watch this. He comes down to the second verse and he reveals to us the other response. Look at this in the second verse. Watch this. Because to trust the Lord, watch this, if we look at this, the second verse reveals that as we trust the Lord, it reveals what God is like when we trust him. Verse 2 says this, look what it says in verse 2. Just as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. Both now and forever. Here we go. He says, now I reveal how you're supposed to trust the Lord in like mount, but let me reveal how the Lord responds. Let me reveal his actions. Watch this. Let me reveal how he operates. Amen. And he says here, he says that he is the one, watch this, the Lord is the one who surrounds us on every side. God surrounds us on every side. Did you see that? Just as the mountains, as they was walking in, singing the song, looking at the mountains, because the mountains protected Jerusalem, and the mountains were there around Jerusalem, he says, watch this, symbolically, God is the same way. No matter what, God is with you. He surrounds you. He is your protection. He will uphold you as we go into 2021. He says, but you got to trust me. You got to trust me. Amen? It pictures him. He's with us. He's behind us. He's within us. He's before us. He's above us, but he's with us. Look what it says here. In Psalms 34, it tells us something. In Psalms 34, it says this, and the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Did you see that? So as we look at this, we see that the Lord's response is that he is the one who surrounds us. And as we go into 2021, you can't be shaken. You can't be moved. You got to trust God. You got to trust in the foundation. You can't be double-minded. You can't, you can't go back and forth. You can't be tossed to and fro. You got to be steadfast, unmovable. You got to keep your eyes on him. You got to believe in him. And the Lord says, and I am surrounding you. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, 
and he delivers them. Amen. That's the Lord's, that's what he does for us as we're moving into this new year. Amen. The Lord, he is our protector. Just as he protected uh, um, Jerusalem, he protects us. Amen. We are his church. He protects us and he will hem us in in the front and the back. Let me close with this last verse. And the Lord will watch over your coming, going both now and forevermore. Oh, that's the promise. What I want us to do as we go into this new year, what we got to do, we got to be with this verse, say, these two verses, this song. It, we have to what? We got to trust in the Lord, and then we'll be unmovable. We will be unmovable. We'll be just like Mount Zion. And if you know anything about mountains, they ain't moving, amen? They're steadfast. They're right there. You wake up, the mountain is still there, amen? Through hurricanes, through storm, the mountain is still there. If we trust in the Lord, rooted. But then he says this, and then the Lord, watch this, he surrounds us. He's our protection as we go into, he's kept us all through 2020. He'll keep us through 2021. We got to believe him. We got to trust him. He is the one who is before us. He is the one who is around us as we go into this new year. And so, Rudy, just let me say this. My prayer is that each one of us go into this new year. As we go into this new year, believing, hoping, Grabbing hold of God's promise. Amen. You grab hold of God's promise. You stop worrying about uh, the world and all that. You grab hold and you believe God. You believe God. You trust the Lord and you, you be anchored to him. You keep your eyes focused on him. You don't get torn to, tossed to and fro, but you stay focused on him. You believe his word, what his word says. You trust in his word, amen? And if you trust in his word, watch this, and you put your trust in him, watch this, he's promised to surround you. He's promised to protect you. He's promised to be before you, amen? Isn't that a great promise? And I pray that as we go, that we will be just what we just read. We will be like Mount Zion, and we will trust the Lord no matter what. I, I don't know about anyone else. As I go into this new year, I... I I think that we need to declare and decree. Sometimes I, I was preaching on Sunday. You got to speak it. We need to dec declare and decree as we go into this new year, into 2021. Uh, we need to open up our mouth and we need to say this with a boldness, trusting the Lord, uh, not shaking. I'm not shaking, but I'm still trusting. <laughs> I'm not going to be shaking. I'm still going to be trusting no matter what because he's good. He's God. He's always my way maker, and he will always make a way. And I'm not shaking, but I'm going to keep on trusting. May God bless you, and may you have a, a, a safe and happy New Year celebration. And believe God as we go into 2021, we're going to trust the Lord, and we're going to hold on to his unchanging hand. May God bless you, and may heaven richly smile upon you, the Rooted Bible Fellowship Church family. Be blessed. Thank you for joining us today in our worship experience. And as always, you can join us on our website at www.rbfchurch.com as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. From our family to yours, we would like to wish you a happy New Year's.